this is going to be a pretty quick tutorial. I'm going to show you how to join uh, two tables together. What I've done here, let me move this over, is I've created a table in my uh, Microsoft SQL Express. Uh, I have a table one and a table two and a sample uh, database here. And if we look let me in there, you'll see that I have a username, a password, and a user ID in table one. In table two, I have a user ID, first name, and last name in table two. The objective here is to interjoin these two tables on the username or the user ID. So what I've done here Let's move this over. I want to demonstrate to you first of all what happens when we do a select statement for every item in table one. And when I execute that, let's move this over. And if you notice here, I've got my sample database chosen. I hit execute and I made sure this is highlighted and it shows the username, password, and the user ID for these two individuals. If I go to table 2, table 2 includes the user ID okay, of these individuals. Actually, let me run both of them so you'll see them together. Okay, so you got Thomas, Thomas, John, and then John. So over here, uh, I got a mistake here. So we only get John out of here because we're interjoining. I'll show you that in a moment. But anyway, uh, what we do need to do is make a correction or a change because if you notice here, the user ID for Thomas is not correct. Let's run these two together. I'll show you what I mean. So if you notice here, the user ID for John is the same, but the user ID for Thomas is different. So when we run our query, our inner join, you only get John. And I'll show you why. Let's do them all together. If I execute this, you'll see that in the first table, table 1, the user ID, John and Thomas, is different. John and there's Thomas. It only shows John. If we go up to the top here to our select statement to interjoin these two tables up here together, you'll see that I have a select statement. I had you, which is the same as table 1. Otherwise, I said table 1 and table 2. And you can use any letter that you want here or here. But just know that when you make a call to those individual fields, they have to be in those tables. Otherwise, you'll get an error. So username is in table 1. Password is in table 1. And table 2, first name. And table 3, last name right so I use the P to indicate table 1 I mean table 2 I use the U to indicate table 1 and I join these two tables with an inner join and I inner join them on the user ID in both tables so in table 2 and table 1 so they're inner joining based on this so when I run the code it looks in both tables and compares the user IDs and displays that information that I requested which was a username, password, first name, last name. Username, password, first name, last name. Let's make a correction to uh, Thomas and uh, we're going to change his user ID to the correct one. Press enter. Let's go back and let's run this code again 
and now you see that Thomas has been added to the table. So I hope that helps.